Hello everyone, Shantae here. Hope you guys are having a beautiful day. So I am here to share with you guys a uh, my traveler notebook that me and um, Joyce <clears throat> decided to do for today for our Saturday morning challenge of friends. Her link will be in the description bar below, of course. Now I have, <laughs> I must admit, I have every diet is for the make those notebooks and journals and all of that. I have never used them, hadn't even taken them out the package. Ah! I even just bought the brand new notebook one by Eileen Hull. It's sad. But so this was exciting for me. It was a challenge as well because of course I have the dies, never used them. And so this week um we made use this one. Right here. This bad boy. I wish I could use like eight by eight pad with this one. Um, but this die right here, this is the base. Um, let's see. I also used um this one, but I only used the pen loop on this one. Right here. The pen loop. I used the um pocket die from Peachy Cheap. I used that pocket die. Um, I also used the Craft Text. Everybody's familiar. Should I'm sure with Craft Text. I used that for the loop. <clears throat> um, this is the cording I purchased off of Amazon. It comes with all these different colors, two millimeter wide cording. So I used that. And my paper that I use was Graph 45 Bloom. Um, this collection right here, I'm sure everyone is familiar with this. Um, gorgeous. Let me try to make some room. So, this is the Bloom. very pretty all right but i used it of course in the 12 by 12 and i also used their solids the patterns and solids and the stickers that goes with that and i um because i bought the dies but i hadn't bought a lot of stuff to um use with it i did not have a lot of inserts so i started um googling um you know journal files and so i found one on etsy they had it on sale and I downloaded a printable file, and I made my own inserts. And, um, okay, you guys, sorry. <laughs> I forgot what I was left off when my, uh, my uh, FaceTime went off. Uh, one of the inserts, because I didn't know which paper everybody used to do their inserts and all of that, uh, if they make theirs instead of buying them. I um, have a lot of digital papers, and so... This um, premium piece, presentation paper was um, recommended for that. So I use this for one of the booklets. And it's thicker, of course, than regular printer paper. So I use that. But this stuff is expensive. So I only use it in one. The rest of them, <laughs> I use regular printer paper until I find out what everybody who makes their own use. And so if I don't forget, I'll link um, the file in the description bar below if you want to purchase it. Here is... Um, my book. All right, so here's my book. Um, I the first mistake I made was I cut it out wrong. I wanted this to be my front, <laughs> but this paper I only have the one pad, so I wasn't gonna um, throw it away. So I just flipped it and said, "Well, I just use this because um, <clears throat> I didn't put try to do no dangles or." anything else on it i'm actually gonna see if i can actually use this um john i really need to start writing more so hopefully i'll actually use this all right so here's the oh and i laminated this with uh my laminator so it's laminated <clears throat> the cover all right so here is the first little insert use the paper and then um uh, it was, I should have not, I should, 
not have added any stickers to these. They looked so much better to me without stickers, but they stuck on here now. So here's the first one. And I was running out of ink. <clears throat> so the next day I had to go to Walmart and buy ink. So um, this sh normally would have said list um, or notes or something like that on the inside of this. So this is the presentation paper. And I just printed these out and used my corner chomper. And I, they are double-sided. My printer, uh, if I if I add too many sheets of paper in there, it'll jam it. And so some of the sheets only print it um, on one side because it's jammed and print it on the other side. But I still use them because, like I said, this paper is, is expensive. Um, but it's actually on sale right now at um, Office Depot. So it was half price. So I ordered like six boxes because um, the uh, prints are phenomenal. When you're doing digital prints. This is the second insert right here. And this one says. When. Whenever life. What did it say? Whatever life plans. Plants you bloom with grace. It's a. I guess a. French proverbs. I don't have my glasses on you guys. So I can't see. Too uh, far without them. And this one is my meal planner. Now, I just purchased a program to help me lose some weight. And I have been saying I'm going to lose weight for years and been putting it off. So, I am, um, I have no choice now. I'm going to say it that way, but to get some weight off. So, <laughs> I'm going to need all kind of grace. So, this one is the weekly planner for the meals. And so, I printed those off so I can try to plan. On the plan I have, I just have to, I'm just responsible for one meal a day. So, I pray I can pull it off because the plan was very expensive. All right, so um, that's that one. This is the Peachy Cheap um, booklet. So, I have, this is how it is right here and two folders right there. I added this on the outside because I cut the paper out wrong. You have to do one straight and then reverse one. And I forgot and I, I didn't want to waste the paper. But this is how the pocket is intended to be. So I just tucked it right on the inside. And then this is the last booklet. And this is just uh, notes. Just for me to write on. And so that's that one. That's the back. And I just add the extra one back here. And because it was laminate, I used Fabri-Tac to um, attach the pocket in the Craftex pen loop. Um, it said that Fabri-Tac will attach the glass, so hopefully it will hold this, because I don't have, um, like, E6000 in the deck. I have it, I don't know where it's at, so hopefully that will work. But this is my first one. I did make some mistakes, but I'm, I'm happy with it for, for it being my first travel notebook, traveler's notebook. And this is the pineapple printables off of Etsy that I bought the file from. And it was a Midori file. It took me a while to figure out which file would work with this particular journal. And it's the Midori one. And I also bought the personal size one for um, the smaller notebooks as well from there. Since they were, they were, since it was on sale, I just went on and got both. All right. So that is it, you guys. Joy's channel will be in the description bar below. And like I said, if I don't forget, I'll link everything for you as well. Y'all have a blessed day. And I'll be back with another video. Bye.